Hello there, Derby fans. We are back with another very exciting game from Tropicarnage Cup this weekend. We are about to watch the Northern Brisbane Rollers take on Paradise City Roller Derby. I am Dol Bludgeon and I am joined today by Chips and Gravy. Excellent. And I'm pretty excited about this one from all the talk that I've heard around um, the Leisure Centre today. Uh, there's plenty of people very excited about what's going to go down in this match. Absolutely. Paradise City had a killer game last night and NBR this morning. Mm. So, uh, yeah, we're absolutely in for a treat. So if you're uh, watching us live on the DNN and you're on the chat, make sure you uh, throw up your comments and we'll try and respond to those guys. But keep your eyes glued to the screen. And we're going to tell it the best we see uh, possible. And um, probably I'll be wrong, but uh, it's still going to be fun anyway. <laughs> You've got some love already, looks like, chips and gravy. Someone is mm, mm, mm about you. Uh, I think that's just chips and gravy in general. Oh, no, don't, uh, t- don't take it like that. We're not related, mate. I don't taste quite as good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, iced tea sounds like a better idea on a hot day like today. Uh, we have the girls lining up on track, ready for the first jam. Very exciting. the first half. 19 seconds on the clock. Number 89, Alice Affliction, is jamming first to Paradise City, and she is up against number 41, Little G Unit, for Northern Brisbane Rollers. And this could be some interesting... The hand is up from the jam timer. I cannot wait. And, the and they are through. Elsa Affliction using excellent footwork as usual to jump through that pack. She has been taken out, looks like, by number 32, GMB. Little G unit with some very risky skating there. Tries an inside line, gets pushed out of play, then tries an outside line. And she has made it through. But she's made it. Persistence pays off, I'll tell you that much. Alice Affliction forced to yield to NBR, and they are going to hold her at the back of the pack there for as long as possible. Oh. She has put a big hit on Little G Unit. Massive hit, Gemma on Gemma action <laughs> going down here. But Little G Unit has recovered quickly, and she is moving fast to the she front of the pack. She's right on her heels, yes, absolutely. Alice Affliction at the back, pushing hard. Now, it is quite a tough feat to keep Alice Affliction back. Yesterday, she was jamming, and she was jumping through like no tomorrow. But tonight, or this afternoon, I should say, it's not been successful, and she has been sent to the bin. Going to spend 60 60 seconds of shame in the sin bin. And And that turns it into a power jam. That's right. Little G unit getting a power jam first jam out, and that is good news for NBR. Always good news when there's a power jam on. She comes up. She's only got two blockers to contend with, and she has done that easily. We should shout out that our very own announcer, Raspberry Bullet, is benching for NBR. She's been working hard up here in the commentary box, and now she's down on the track. We like to multitask around here. She's uh, fully committed to the (laughs) Derby family, uh, putting in volunteering everywhere and she's pumping some fists at the moment she's excited absolutely Chrissy Demons went out for a final hit there and couldn't quite keep her little G unit coming back around trying to get through the pack Chrissy Demons is on her they've got some beautiful bridging work but she is now forced to let her through Uh, the ref's arms go up no pack and uh, yeah an epic first jam huh wow that was that was pretty big a big 20 points and NBR, just letting Paradise City know, you are the new kids around here. We'll yeah. show you how it's done. Laying down the law. <laughs> we got Death Angel up for Paradise City. She is jamming. And, and Brandy Snaps. Brandy five Snaps five. for NBR. Let's see what these ladies can bring. We've got one in the bin for Paradise City, which gives NBR a four-pack advantage. Brandy Snaps jostling for position. She has uh, got fast footwork, hasn't she? She's come she up sure against does. Oh Hell No. But she's copping hits. <laughs> and, she and Oh Hell No says Oh Hell No, definitely. To the back of the pack. And Oh Hell No hangs back to the back of the pack waiting she for She loves more. that position. She wants it. <laughs> Death Angel fighting her way through the pack there. Johan- Genosaurus taking a big hit on Oh Hell No. And it looks like NBR Gemma has been forced to yield. 
She is now coming through, which gives Paradise City a little bit of an advantage, and she is out and lead Gemma. That took quite a while, didn't it? It was, yeah, and I saw a beautiful, um, I don't know what else to call it, but a one-woman sweep from number 92, Guns and Rosie. A big there. booty block straight across, Came was it? straight around oh. the outside and just shot straight through the pack we and knocked those. her off. Oh, oh hell no. Just hitting blockers just because. Tiff Angel, oh, she tried a little oh. pirouette twist around. And a, and a evil stare down at her oh, while she's on the yeah, ground. Yeah. She gave her some eyes and said, down. I'm she's the boss, the you're on the ground, that's what's what. <laughs> I got my three points. <laughs> Love it. All right, we have Alice Affliction, captain of Paradise City, up again for a jam, and she is up again. Iron Thighs, number 2244. Oh, Iron Thighs, formerly of BCR. This could get interesting. Now working for the teal and black. We should say NBR is teal and black, just in case you weren't sure. Paradise City is white and navy. I'm sure you've worked that out, smart viewers. (laughs) Alice Affliction is out in front, but where she likes to be. And Iron Thighs is still... Iron Thighs has been sent to the bin, actually. She has Uh-oh. cut track. She's not sure why. And she is in the penalty box. The hands go up, the shoulders are shrugged. Some beautiful blocking from MBR. They've tried to force a yield, but uh, Paradise City have had a wall there. Alice Affliction still working hard, and she is through the pack again. And she is coming around. There's a solid wall by NBR. They're trying to, they pushed her out to the inside. They're going to run back. But unfortunately, Jambi, number 32 for NBR, has been sent to the penalty box for that so back block, I diminished believe. numbers uh, for NBR. Um, two people in the box, Jambi and a blocker, which making life a little bit easier for Paradise City. That's what they like. Alice Affliction moving through the pack. And through again, this is an incredible power jam. And Very so casual, wasn't she? It was. <laughs> she, she always skates with such a casual grace. Yeah, grace I is feel. a good one. I feel, yep. Just uh, on the back foot. And, and look, through again. She's called it off, which means it's Paradise City enough. will start on a power jam. No, no Iron Thighs like must have just out. got out. Saved by the bell on that one. So, we got little G-Unit up for NBR. She's jamming again, and she is going up against Death Angel. The two main jammers for Paradise City, Death Angel and Alice Affliction. Though they might put Rattling Bones in there in a little bit. So, no one... Oh, no, we've got one in the bin for NBR. Oh, and it was... An illegal entry, I think. An illegal, an illegal start. Yeah, by Brutal Deluxe. So she has to back her to go back and yield to all the players and step back on the track. That has been a nice thing for Death Angel because now she can try and move through. She's got three blockers to contend with. Oh. Three very experienced blockers. Looks like we've got an illegal entry from the jammer who's sent to the bin and forced to do, gone past the point of no return and had to do a full lap. Oh. Before she can um, serve her time in the box. So we've got a power jam for Paradise City. Something that they want quite badly. You want to get a nice lead out in front. Wow, there's um, (laughs) some tough jostle out there. It is a very evenly matched game so far. So even. 22 versus 29. That's right. All right. So... Looks like we have Alice Affliction again up to jam for Paradise City. She is one fit lady. We and still they have a jammer in the books yep. for um, NBR. And they're giving her a nice running start. So they're starting at the pivot line, and that will allow her the speed that she likes to try and move through that pack. It's Paradise always, City it's going over. It's always watch when you have <laughs> speed. You got the smack right into the pack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. NBR doing their best to hold her back. Some beautiful work Some absolutely there. Absolutely beautiful that? work. Number three. Three, five, five, seven. That's right. Long Lash Massacre. She's played with NBR for quite a while now. Alice Affliction coming through again. Some beautiful work there, holding her back. Trying to push her to the inside, and they have. They pushed her out to the outside. But has been given a... Iron Thighs 244 has been... Was it a forearm? 
I didn't see the signal from the ref, but she's the pivot has been sent to the bin. Right on the end of the jam there. And we have a jammer standing in the box for uh, Northern Brisbane Rollers. So it will be starting off as a power jam, but uh, not for long. Any advantage is a good advantage, isn't it? Yep. So Death Angel will be lapping that up, and she will be moving fast through that pack to make sure that she makes the most of that. Her teammates are just going to hang back, let her jump through. MBR's moving up to the pivot line just to let them set up a bit, get some movement so they can swing out. A nice last-ditch effort of a block there, but it hasn't worked. And Death Angel is through again. Uh, the captain on the track there, Beth, had uh, doing a good job of rallying her girls and um, doing some very good defensive blocking. Will G unit slipped through when we weren't looking straight off the... <laughs> Straight from the penalty box and That's what through. you want in a jammer, really. Absolutely. But um, she hasn't got any points this jam. Alice Affliction back on the track, jamming, and she is up against... Trauma Junkie, it looks like, number 42. Number 42. This is her first jam of the night. Afternoon, I should say. It's still hot. It's got to be afternoon. Must be. <laughs> She's gone for some... Um, offensive straight away. It hasn't been effective, and she is forced to yield to Paradise City. And Alice Affliction trying to push her way up the inside. Easily. Switch to the outside and uh, Just rolls around the outside. There. And again, so casual with her <laughs> approach to skating. Christy Demons has been sent to the bin for Paradise City. And Iron Thighs is still in there from the last jam. Alice Affliction has been pushed out but has called the jam off just in time to some, prevent uh, NBR getting any points. Some good teamwork there from Sticks and Bones and Jambi from uh, NBR working together to uh, create that, that you know, a, a wall that's not, not real possible. And, that, um, that's and true. it seemed to work. They pushed her right out. I hear you. Yeah. So we got Death Angel up. She is jamming for Paradise City. She's up against Slaggity Ann. Number 711 for NBR. There's the whistle. Denosaurus doing some nice blocking there, just trying to push um, Death Angel out to the right, to the outside. And NVR is pushing through. Oh, it's moving a high through. Step in there. Oh, hell no, it was a last ditch effort to hold her back, but unfortunately. For oh hell no, Slaggedy Ann is through, and the crowd loved that. There is some NBR support here this afternoon. And the wild red dreads from Genosaurus Rex going flying all over the place there. Some very uh, fierce action yeah. in the pack just then. Death, Death Angel was just about to hit the back, but it has been called off by Slaggedy Ann. So a nice jam for NBR. They needed those points. And Paradise City still taking the lead on 40. And NBR on 22. Nice. Very, very nice. We've got 18 and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Still plenty of time. Anything could happen. All right, we've got little G unit up again, number 41 for NBR, and she's up against Captain Alice Affliction for Paradise City. A rather small pack out there Very at the moment. Pack. We're two blockers down for uh, Paradise City and one down for NBR. NBR is holding Alice Affliction back, and that and is all the G unit needs to get through the gap and prove why they came second last year at Tropicana H Cup. Um, not Alice Affliction, rather than um, going through, she was like, I am going to block you out. Hasn't been successful, and she is forced to move to the back of the pack. And little G unit also forced to yield. And this means that Alice Affliction might get through. No, she's been blocked out. No, she is through. She's through. Little G Unit's knocked out once more. She's called off the... Little G Unit's called off the jam because Wise she move. didn't want Alice Affliction to get any points. Wise move from Little G Unit. Very much so. Not a stranger to the lead jammer position, though, Little G Unit, especially just even in this uh, first, first uh, half of this belt. Yeah, she loves it. And so she should. They put Sluggity Ann up again. Yeah, Brandy Snaps is jamming on it. She's off the track again. Looks like oh, we have I, a timeout. My mistake. It was um, 
Who did you say it was? Brandy Snaps. Brandy Snaps. Yeah, you're correct. Sorry, I got confused for a moment. Up here Only in the a commentary moment? box. Only a moment, right? Uh, well, I, I'll take up the confusion for the rest of the time then there, if you like. <laughs> so, we've got a timeout. Um, looks like Death Angel is in there explaining something furiously to Number Cruncher. And they are now chatting about it. Big shout out to our refs. They do a really hard job out there. It is hot today, as you can imagine. And they have been slogging it out, working hard to make sure that all the rules are enforced in roller derby. So many rules. So many rules. (laughs) The book is thick. And it gets updated constantly, so uh, you be on top of it all the it time. It is hard. So Iron Pies is up to Jan. She is up against Death Angel. And there are only two blockers on there for NBR, which means that Iron Pies is going to work, have to work really hard as NBR try and hold back Death Angel. Looks like oh, Hell No is hanging further up on the She's track. She's got something really. planned, hasn't she? <laughs> She's up to mischief, that She's one. ready. She's going to no sweep good. in. There's going to be a hit. And oh. here it comes. Pinched it just out on the middle there. And again, pushed down, forced to yield there by the pivot from uh, Paradise City. Nice work. And that means Death Angel is through. Lee Gemma. We've got a fair bit of chat going on. Our online feed there. What are people saying? Sound keeps breaking up apparently, Bob. Oh, no. Our sound? That could just be me sporadic with my talking. <laughs> Maybe we're just having big gaps in... <laughs> I, I fell asleep for a second. <laughs> what we're saying. There's a question. Who is the head ref? Um, I will find that out for you. Yeah, it's not Craig. Oh, it looks like Number Cruncher. Is she head? We got Craig and Number Cruncher in the centre there. Uh, looks like Number Crunch is pack ref. And there's a bit of talk there about the NSOs. We've got a few NSOs. Um, big standout NSO down in the penalty box. It looks like we've got Tilt McKilt penalty box managing. A big hit from Rattlin' Bones there for Paradise City. <laughs> Living up she to her namesake. Absolutely. She is not letting that jammer through. And Iron Thighs is having some hard work out there at the back of the pack. Definitely Paradise City making life tough for Iron Thighs on that particular jam. Apparently the sound is fine. Okay. So someone said maybe refresh your feed. That might work it out. Uh, Refresh the feed or refresh the browser? I don't know. Have you tried turning (laughs) it off and on again? (laughs) That's what IT people say. (laughs) (laughs) Just going to find names, but we're assuming it's the one with the white helmet on. Okay. Who's Shirley? Shirley's our outside pack ref. Absolutely. And we've got Sergeant Pepper Absolutely. as an outside. has been pushed right to that inside, but she has found a gap and gotten through. Not before. That was some beautiful work from the NBR gym. Fancy she was running. Too. Running. Did she even have skates on? Running on skates. That was Sluggity Ann, crowd yeah, favourite. A lot of people online saying uh, the sound is fine, so um, oh. yeah, thank you for that. Brandy Snaps is up for MBR. She is jamming and she is up against Death Angel again. They're playing those jammers over and over again, aren't they, Paradise City? They know what yeah. works That's and it. they're Stick sticking the to it. Brandy Snaps is not snapping easily. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> The puns have started. We Look love out. the puns. Oh. We're all about the puns But she here. has. She has been sent to the bin for a cut track. Oh, uh, she's nuts nice for... Uh, Which gives Death Angel the perfect opportunity if she can stay in and she can't. Jammer ref was signaling a forearm on that one for Brandy Snaps. So she's coming around the track. There's a bit of carnage out there. NBR forms their wall again. They go in for some big hits, but uh, they just push angles. her through that gap. It's all about angles, isn't yep. it? Nice deflection. All right. NBR <laughs> Jammer. Beth Adder getting some grief for coming back on track. Is Captain back on the track. But that doesn't seem to worry Death Angel because she just keeps rolling on through. And that's a super slow pack. Uh, 
Paradise City tending to hold it almost to a standstill to yeah, make, make life easy for that jammer like to get around. Pack. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and NBR doing some good bridging to try and um, keep that defense spread out as far as they can, but they've lost another blocker, which is going to make life difficult for Absolutely. them. Absolutely. That was Long Lash Massacre. She is being sent to the bin. And... Iron Thighs pushing it right out, forcing it to yield. Some excellent but blocking. The, the defense of. <laughs> Thank you for that. Video, Rob. Number Cruncher is head ref for this game. What will we do without uh, information, dudes? What will we IG? do? They keep us running. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Number Cruncher is the head ref for this one. A beautiful <laughs> block there on MBR's jammer. She's down. She's still pushing through. And we've lost a blocker to Paradise City. Heading towards the bin, another 28. That was Sarsaparella. She had a... I oh know, Goldie Scorn. Sarsaparella. She had an excellent um, block there. She um, was keeping the jammer back very well. And Alice is back. Alice She's Affliction. back. She's back. And With Trauma vengeance. Junkie, number 42. Trauma Junkie. Jamming for NBR. Up. Switching to the inside. She thinks she sees an opening. Does she spy something? Or is it deception? Mm. Oh, that was Fletcher. a big goose step. That was <laughs> David Campisi style. It has Massive worked. Goose step. Some excellent, excellent footwork. Wow. She's Sends pushed Paradise City out, but it's just not enough. Alice Affliction showing why she is captain and, um, of Paradise City. Take this moment to feel sorry for the... For the jammer ref for Alice Affliction because she's got some speed on him. She's making him work. He is <laughs> working hard. I was watching him and struggling to keep up with her on that one, even <laughs> though he's got the inside of her. 11 and a half minutes to go, and um, NBR is on 25, and Paradise City is on 76 points. Still anybody's game. Yeah, there's a bit of consultation with the coaches. Oh, something's going down. Uh oh. Time We've out. got a timeout for NBR, looks like. So our Raspberry Bullets down there gathering the troops. Consulting very seriously with Beth Adder. They've got a plan. There's some furrowed brows. I, 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 see, <laughs> I see a plan a, a hatching, a brewing. I found today sometimes we just had timeouts just to have a bit of a breather. It uh, is hot out there. It hurts the lungs. It hurts the uh, legs. It absolutely does. And that's just sitting still in the commentary box. <laughs> I don't even know what it's like to skate today. It's going to be terrible. It is hard. <laughs> so it looks like NBR were um, speaking to the refs there about something that they didn't agree with. What's happening on the feed? Uh, we're talking about Cherry, how he's a good ref. He is a really good ref and he's a really good skater. He's... Uh, Got his work cut out for him there because the, <laughs> the pack keeps knocking the players into the inside and he's had to dodge a bunch of uh, girls this, this afternoon. It's hard. You don't want to hit a ref. So we've got Frank in front, 13-13, uh, watching from Ipswich. And it's got to be hot there. Oh, I can imagine it is hot in Ipswich today. Uh, it's hot here and times that by Ipswich. It's uh, got to be very hot. Thanks for tuning in, though. Excellent dedication. I hope you have air con. We've got Cuz Carlo watching from Cairns. Nice work, Cairns. He's watching, relaxing with a cool beer. I'm waiting for oh. the NRL. Don't worry about the NRL to start, mate. <laughs> You've got the roller derby going on here. I think it's the better choice. Absolutely. We've got watchers in Warwick too, I believe. Oh, sweet. Little G unit. She is out. She's Lee Jammer. And she is flying around that pack. She has been taken out by Rutland Bones. Oh! oh. And Rutland Bones has... Got a taste a, of her own medicine She there. did, absolutely. She just got taken out by... That's not going to stop her. She's coming back for more and pushing through the pack. Pushing up against Iron Thighs. <laughs> Iron Thighs giving her some grief. Oh, looks like we have a penalty for Paradise City. Christy Demons making her way to the penalty box. Lou G unit there with a beautiful five-point pass. And Lee Jammer status. So uh, the control is in her hands. And as I said before, she's not shy, nor is she um, a stranger to Lee Jammer position. Yeah, Lil G unit doing some excellent juking, moving the feet around and just stepping around the players. 
she's got control. She can decide what she wants to do. There's a lot of MBR out there. Not many Paradise City. <laughs> but they're still causing carnage. Oh, oh, speaking Pete. of carnage. Bill, that's there's what we a like massive stack. Start. Almost took out the flash from the photographers here. Iron Price has rolled over the top of Rutland Bones. That and got set, a little bit too familiar. There, hey, it? hey, it set Rutland Bones to the penalty box, so it is a power jam for NBR. Yeah. A, big, a big hit from number 28, Goldie Scorn, but it just really feels like... Um, Whoa! Big, number 28 again with Goldie a massive Scorn. hit. Sent her on her butt to go and polish the floorboards once more. And, uh, that was impressive. feeling that. I bet it. Little G unit taking some big take, deep breaths take after some that breath one. Style. You and deserve them. The fitness of the girls today has got to be spoken for. They're, they are amazing. You see them come and they look absolutely devastated after a jam. But give them 20 seconds or so and they've recovered. And that's, that speaks volumes for the amount of cardio and the amount of training they do It does. It's every a week. total endurance game. This son, absolutely. you might be sweet at the start, but you've got to be able to pound it out for that whole hour. And it is quite full on. Just the amount that it takes out of your legs, and your legs being the biggest muscle on your body just <laughs> saps your energy, saps your strength, and the, the amount of control you have to have in those things to just stay on your feet in this kind of game is it, just it, it's something to behold. For sure. And you know what? You might have the lightest skates in the world, but uh, at the end of the game, they are like lead in yep. your feet. What's going on? So we've got uh, an official timeout, and NBR is out there having a serious discussion. Sticks and Bones, former SSRG player, is out representing the teal and black this afternoon. Yes, uh, we've got a question on the newsfeed. Cars Carlo is saying, is that Disney as NSO? Yes, we have a salt Disney in the middle of the track um, as Wrangler, I believe keeping track of all the girls and all their penalties. Um, doing a fine job all day, she has been today. It is a big day. It has. I can see Ratty down there on the score keeping desk. Um, who else have we got? I can see Stabby McStab in the penalty box and Evie, I'm oh sorry, Bruzy Soho and Tilt McKilt, as mentioned before. Doing the hard work, making sure those chairs don't move. No moving chairs. Oh. And I don't know if you can see it on screen. Can that? No, not at the moment. But you might notice today we have the penalty box. Um, all the NSOs in the penalty box are actually standing. Now, that is not fun <laughs> for an NSO that to be able to standing that whole time. It is hot. I'm but feeling so bad. It was a very wise call from the head ref because we've had issues in the past with people moving the chairs and people um, ca causing injuries because of the people coming in hot to the penalty box. And there's, there's penalty, extra penalties and possible expulsion because, for that. But in the, in the uh, matter of safety, they've actually made the NSO stand that way that they can avoid the chairs a lot easier. That sounds and, um, good. Yeah, and there wasn't a lot of room for chairs back there. So, yeah. so it was a wise call. Not really nice for the backs and legs of the NSOs, but uh, they're doing the job and they're doing it well. We've got one blocker. Trauma Junkie is jamming for NBR, and she started with a power jam and has been able to jump right through that pack. She's coming up against Christy Demons for Paradise City. She's also got uh, Toe Cutter. And looks like Goldie Scorn out there. We're in the middle of a power jam, but it looks like and number 111 is standing. Sorry, I meant Guns and Rosie then. Oh. My apologies. We have two jammers on the track now. Rutland Bones. I told you she jammed. Look, she's out there. Giving it a go. She's out of the penalty box. Both jammers forcing up against the walls of the opposite team. Uh, and, and it has call. been called up. Three points to NBR for that one. Bringing the scores a little bit closer. 53 for NBR and 76 for Paradise City. Still anyone's game. Lil G Unit is up German for NBR. She's got 
two blockers to go up against, which is nice for her. But she's got three helping her out. We've got Beth at her and... Um, Okay. Oh, hell, that uh, is iron thighs we got. Yes, for NBR. So it is a power jam. But Paradise City is good. We've got a formidable force in, <laughs> uh, in on hell no. Look Absolutely. at her, just out of the corner of her eye, sitting on the inside track there, ready to squeeze her right off the track. And she drops that shoulder and goes for the charge, but just misses that one. And she's through for another five-point pass. Susparella is out there as well. Mm-hmm. On the track and then not long on when she's been knocked straight off. Yeah, Goldie Scorn is joining the Paradise City um, blocking team. So let's see if they can form a strong wall and hold back, even if for a moment, little G unit. They seem to be doing pretty well at the moment. and But she has just slipped around. Oh, hell no, on the inside of the track. They're showing quite a bit of an ag- agility with some whipping around some transitions and throwing in some hip checks, but not quite as agile as... Um, as the jammer. Will G unit. Yeah, Will G unit. Sorry, she, it's right. Oh, no, has um, successfully pushed her player to push Will G unit out. Unfortunately, it has sent her to the bin. And she's taking one for the team. One minute, that is. One minute. <laughs> Rattlin Bones is... Little G unit two for a five-point pass. Rattlin Bones is out there trying to push through. She wants to get through. It's a she's tough pack. Down. She's polishing the floor with the knees. She's up again. She's moving through the pack. Her team's going over, which is extremely helpful in these conditions. And it's all a bit of a mess in there. Hits which works. And hits and hits. And more <laughs> hits. Hits and pits. Worked very much in Little G Unit's favour for NBR as she just slipped on through like no one was watching. And some wow. nice defensive work there by Rattlin Bones. As a jammer, she stayed at the back and she said, All right, I'm going to hit you where it hurts. Absolutely. And yeah, we got Janosaurus Rex out on track. We got Alice Affliction jamming for Paradise City. And Slaggedy Ann for BCR. Slaggedy Ann. Let's see what these ladies can do. We've got a three on four pack, it looks like. Yep, Paradise City one blocker down. Oh, hell no, is in the bin. And she does not look happy about that. Not happy at all. (laughs) You can see she's plotting some kind of... Some kind of hippie revenge. You don't want to make her angry. No. I think that's a good idea. All right. Alice Affliction. Up on the toes and just steps through beautifully. delicately dancing on that inside line. And here it comes. Oh, hell no. Back with a vengeance. And MVR's Gemma is Slaggedy Ann trying to get through. She's oh, been blocked by Christy Demons beautifully to the outside. Christy Demons is making her yield. But has had to move up because a no pack was called. Must have been a very big hit on her. Then she tried to get up. She looks and and fell down again on her own accord straight away. Like she just it hurts. still tr- struggling to shake that one off. I think. And now she's got oh hell no, holding her back with it and <laughs> making her yield too. Goldie and you can tell in this there is her. Janosaurus Rex has been sent to the bin for a one minute um, rest. Alice Affliction is through. Sluggity Ann finally through and on her heels. Looking like she a little is bit worse for wear. She fought gallant, gallant. gallantly. Gallantly, absolutely. Yeah, that's it. You got the wording. Alice Affliction. Oh, just her. Slips her insults her injury. Cast. She skates so hard to catch up with the pack <laughs> and gets called off before she can even get some points on the board for that one. Five point pass for uh, Paradise City. Okay, so we have. Trauma Junkie. And Death Angel. And a very, very diminished pack at Looks the like we're going to start at the pivot line. NBR has made that happen. Two skaters for Bit NBR of a run up. And, and looks like they're going to use some sort of brace. Wow, big, big to hit. To hold her back. And it was successful. But now for she's a moment. got to deal with our <laughs> hell no. <laughs> and, and there's a whip. Oh, we love a whip. We have not seen enough whips in this competition. Death oh, Angel is out no. in front as a lead jammer. The whip is the rush of speed that you need when you're struggling oh, to catch up with that it pack. It feels so good. Oh, yeah. 
It's like a free ride. <laughs> Anything a free. Free ride. And there's the jam. Jam is being called off. Four point jam for Paradise City. 95 Paradise City to 79 NBR. Just over two minutes remaining in this. This might be the last jam. Alice Affliction versus Little G Unit on the jam line for this one. We got one NBR blocker out there. Wow. Lonely Iron Thighs. Well, wow. <laughs> Oh my! Number ninety-two, Johnson Rose, awesome. takes a backwards trip to the floorboards, Absolutely. and that looked like it hurt. <laughs> All right, so we've got little G unit. She's out. She's not lead jammer. Alice Affliction has caught it off, and there will be one more jam for this half. Christy Demons has been sent to the bin, and it looks like who else we got there? Number ninety-two, Christy. Guns and Rosie. Has Christy been Demon. sent to the bin as well, but um, told to move on because we've already got a full bin. We've got a lineup. Chrissy well. Demon's been to the bin a few times this game. Let's hope that um, she can keep out of there in the second half. They need her, I think. Yep. Okay, so we, we we've got Death Angel. She's up. <laughs> Still only one blocker for um, BCR. She's up against Trauma Junkie. Trauma Junkie made a great head start, but unfortunately. It has not been enough, and Death Angel is through. Death Angel flashing red on the scoreboard means she has lead jammer. Trauma Junkie coming around. Death Angel just taking it easy. Death Angel follow, so closely followed by a black and white striped seagull, it looks like, <laughs> which means she doesn't have lead jammer and can't call it off. Speaking of which, we got 38 seconds to go. We're going to have one more jam. Third time lucky. One last jam. (laughs) (laughs) Alice Affliction lining up to jam for Paradise City. Little G unit jamming for MBR. We've got a two-on-two pack. Janosaurus, I believe, is in there. Yeah, and sticks and bones for MBR. And we've got... Oh, wow, some amazing teamwork from MBR there. They're working Girls really... Girls holding hands, working as one. Really, really well. Some big hits from Janosaurus there, but Paradise City still gets through to get lead Gemma on her initial pass. Goldie Scorn and Toe Cutter are working hard out there. Absolutely. And now the numbers are even. Just we've got three on pace. three for the block, blockers. They're going to the race. Pack. They're going to try and hunt down to keep the pack going so that um, MBR can't score. And some very good tactical work there. And it works for him. Pulls it off. No points for MBR on that pass. And we are now at half time wow. in this bout. And I believe we have some pretty exciting interviews happening. We do. Oh, wow. Yeah. We're very lucky to have Joey Scott. Oh. With us, and he's going to be interviewing some some Reef City players. So, smiling curse from Reef City is going to be interviewed. So don't go away if you'd like to listen to that and have a look at their beautiful faces, which you don't get to see often. Uh, stick around. All right, that's us. We'll be right back with you in 14 minutes. Do you want headphones or you don't need them? No, we should be good. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am here with the very lovely, the very beautiful Smiling Chaos from Reef City Roller Girls. How are you Miss Chaos? I'm fine now after the game, I've cooled down, calmed down and I can breathe again. <laughs> Enjoying Chopper Carnage this year? Yes, it's my first visit down to Chopper Carnage and I'm absolutely loving it. The games are amazing to watch, just the quality, uh, quality of players, the quality of refs is just amazing. Now how do you feel Reef City went? this weekend our first game was 
a little bit up and down, um, but we finally pulled it together in the last half. And then the game that we just played, I feel, even though the points difference was was a lot, um, we played really well together. We had fun anyway. So I think fun's an important thing. You always say one thing I love about commentating you is you're always having fun on the track, waiting for the jam to start. You're dancing, you're smiling, you're having a good time. That's what Derby's all about. I mean... You, you can't take the fun out of it. There's no way. I mean, you've got you guys especially commentating, going, you know, come on, dance, and, you know, you can't not. I think it's a joy to watch, and I think the crowd love it too. Uh, Batgirl and Kaz Carlo say hello, Chaos. Got some shout-outs there, Chaos. Oh, from... hi, Kaz. <laughs> I'll give you an internet high five. High five. High five from Chaos, from the fans. <laughs> so, how long have you been with Reef City, Chaos? I've been with Reef City since 2011. I started in April. So only about two or so years. Well, that's not too bad. And you're one of their star players now. You're on every travel team. I, a great jammer. I'm, I think you're very valuable to the team. <laughs> Does anyone want to ask Chaos questions? Anything at all. She's as open as a book. Ma, oh, hi, Ma. I kept my fingers in. They're still intact. Just the hand got slammed in the door. It's, but it's okay. Cans is... Mm, mm. Reef City's mother, Mafia, making sure all the girls had their fingers tucked in. We miss you, Ma. We wish you could be down here. <laughs> Anyone else? Okay, no, we'll ask Chaos more. Now, what kind of skates do you use, Chaos? Um, I skate with Antics. They're absolutely amazing. I, yeah, they're so comfortable. They're, yeah. You've had them for a while now, haven't you? Yeah, I've... I've had them for over a year now or something like that, and they're, they're still in one piece. They're still in one piece. They hold up. Hear that? That's a good plug for them. Um, if they can stand Chaos' jamming, <laughs> then they can stand anything. Uh, no swearing at the refs, Chaos? No. No swearing at the refs. The insubordination was not for swearing at the refs. Uh, <laughs> it was because I accidentally took too long to get off the track for my first penalty. You wouldn't <laughs> swear at any refs, would you, Chaos? I wouldn't no. believe that. No. Look at that face. You couldn't... That face wouldn't swear at refs. Okay, so, um... i got to think of more stuff to ask you now. <laughs> Someone ask something quick. No. How have you found Yes. Yeah, I've, I have found it absolutely incredible. Like, as I said, it's my first drop of carnage. I missed out when we first came down. Um, work, all that kind of stuff. Kind of have to work to, to come here. Um, but yeah, it's been amazing. The team spirit that we always have after an event like this, where we get so close and yeah, we, we, we go back happy no matter what the outcome is, because it's just a together group. Is there any team you'd like to play? There's a lot of teams here. Is there anyone you really would have liked to play that you didn't get a chance to? Oh, that's a hard question. You uh, all? <laughs> you, I know you'd probably want to play all, but is there one in particular? I wouldn't mind playing... Um, NBR's A team, we did play their B team, but just to get the experience, and I kind of want to hit BA because <laughs> she used to play with us. <laughs> yes, Beth Adder, a former Reef City Roller Girls that moved down to NBR and is yes. now <laughs> captain. So, yeah. see, Reef City is pump, pumping out some good players there. <laughs> My hero. Uh, I, think, I think that's a hint to say her. her okay, <laughs> I do love you, Ma. <laughs> um... I don't know, my, I have an Australian derby crush. Don't tell anyone. Brutal Deluxe. I love her to pieces. We'll, we'll keep your secret. <laughs> wink, wink. Yeah, she, she's probably my hero in Australia anyway. <laughs> probably the little booty flash. Maybe. I forgot that the camera was on when I did the booty flash. That was just for me, energy. guys, not for you. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. We, we will see. I know KJ saw it. Is, is there any moment that you hope you The dancing. Yeah, the dancing, that's always fun. Um, just me not doing anything stupid. Because I probably do. I probably feel stupid faces when I jam, but... <laughs> Oh, that, that's a tough one. Well, I believe in NBR, and I think they're going to come back. Just, I love them to pieces. They're kind of like our sister league. We love them. Um, so we're hoping they win. 
Oh, amen to that. Yeah. <laughs> a bit of love for, a bit of love for there for NBR. Um, have you got anything to say back to people watching you? I know some Townsville girls have been watching. I know Reef City's been watching you. Is there anything you want to say? Oh, it's just great that that many people have tuned in to to support us to support Derby all together. Um, it's just yeah, it's a it's a fun weekend. You I definitely think really DNN on. is great for. Yeah, it's amazing that DNN is here and that they're plugging this and. Because I know there's a lot of people that want to come down. Ah, I kind of learned that our refs don't call certain things. Because we're getting called for it a lot down here. <laughs> I think the refs might have to brush up on the skills when they get back. Maybe, maybe. Ricky may have a, have to have a talk to Harry Spotter. And from the skill skills kit, what's the given and received? To me? Yeah. Oh, um, That's a tough one. Probably when we played uh, NBR's B team, I was looking in the other direction. Um got absolutely smashed. I can't really pinpoint one here. Uh, I know there was a good good few hits here that just absolutely knocked me around like crazy. Um, but in that last game, I, I managed to take out the jammer. And yeah, that, that was fun. <laughs> now, what's the Reef City's Facebook and website? Just in case anyone wants to like. Is anyone watching? I know a lot of people are watching for NBR. And... Uh, it's reefcityrollergirls.com.au for the website. Um, and it's facebook.com forward slash Reef City Roller Girls. And we've also just new to Instagram as well, so we have that up and running. Uh, it's Reef City RG. I think you're pretty keen to get some more teams up to verse, aren't you? Travel yeah, around a bit? Definitely. I know there's probably a lot of teams out there that would like to verse cans. Yeah, we've had, we've had a couple of... Um, of inquiries to come up next year um, so that's, that's going to be good and I do believe we have a bout coming up soon yes we have a bout on the 26th of October that's going to be mainly, uh, mainly for our new stars uh, to get them up and going and we're just going to have a black and white scrimmage as well breaks my heart I won't be able to be there but I'll be definitely be thinking Yeah, I think there's flies out. <laughs> yeah, I think there's flies out, and it's on the web page. Um, yeah. I think. Well, we just put the put out the bout flyer, so fly. Well, we put up the bout poster, I should say. The flyers will come soon. So I definitely think guys should go well, come and see chaos in it. Yeah. Oh in a beautiful self. Dance. Yes, definitely. Um. Oh. I, I think I think everyone Kaz should give everyone a smile. Look, look, that's the, that's her face smiling at you before she passes you jamming. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. definitely. We are, we're almost out of our junior Kilimaris. They're extremely popular, but we've got plenty of shirts and coolers and we've got a bunch of new stickers for sale. So Kaz will even sign it for you if you ask her nicely. I will indeed, and I'm sure the other girls will as well. Okay, we were smiling, Chaos. It's been a pleasure interviewing you, Chaos. Thank you, Joey. Hope you had a good weekend. Oh, I'm having a fabulous weekend. We're going to let them get back to the exciting bout going on. I know we're going to go down and sit down and cheer for NBR. Okay, guys. Say bye, Chaos. Bye. Thank you. Blow a kiss. Bye, bye guys.
Well, good afternoon, folks. This is Chips and Gravy with a mouthful of chips. I made good use of half time. We've got a uh, minute and 40 seconds to go before we kick off once more. All the safety checks are being done. Referee's checking that everything's still in working order. Everyone's got their arms and legs and head screwed on properly. No one has done anything strange in the break. Just checking it all out. Well, and we at are least not the girls who are skating. There was a lot of strange things going down here in the break. Uh, thanks to Joey Scar for that interview with the lovely roller derby lady from Reef City. We love a good interview around here. Let us know if there's any of your heroes that you would like us to interview and we'll see if we can get them going on sometime this weekend. I'm just going to say that. Let's do it. Apparently we left the mics on and they could hear all the background chat. Oh, that's awkward. I'm completely innocent. I wasn't here. Had nothing to do with me. Whatever that was. Now, Skull and Destroy, absolutely. I can't wait for this second half either. This is anyone's game, as you said. And, uh, wow. 40 seconds to go. Ladies are on the track, poised and ready to go. Little G unit first up for BCR. And Alice Affliction up again for Paradise City. She's a machine. In fact, they're both machines. Unstoppable today. Unstoppable. Here we go. We're getting low. We're getting ready. Paradise City bracing. Number four. Is that Goldie Scorn? No, yeah. that's Cruella to Cruella. kill. Braced and ready. She's poised. She is poised. I like that word. Little G unit. Getting ready. Is she having a good chat? They're having a friendly banter. Uh, chin wag, yeah. Oh, that's what we like around here. Why not? There's the whistle. And, she, and the, before she does a block, M uses the outside to get around. She's taken a big hit from Toe Cutter. Toe Cutter is an excellent blocker. And has made a yield, but went too far, and she's able to step in front of her. And Come Alice back around. Affliction getting Lee Jammer on this one. She's not Lee Jammer. Alice oh, Affliction got through when we weren't looking. Oh, that's what I said. Alice Affliction's Lee Jammer. Oh, you saw it. Oh, see, yeah, that's why that. you're on it. I'm on something. You're on life. Yes, on life. Oh, some beautiful jamming there from Alice Affliction. The pirouette, the spin, the slip around, and called off the jam. Uh, Sweet Far online says, Cruella was poised, ready to spring like a panther. Oh, you should be here, Sweet Fanny Adams. We miss you. All right. Who we got up now? We got Death Angel for Paradise City, and she is up against Sluggity Anne for NBR. We have a full pack. No one's in the bin. Let's see if we can keep it this way. Looks like we got some Tilt McKilt uh, fans on our feed. <laughs> Who can't be a fan of Tilt McKilt? Death Angel just using sheer force. They're pushing the... <laughs> actually taking a whip off one of the players. A legal whip. She didn't really touch her, but it kind of worked in her favour. And she has now got lead Jamma. Oh, hell no, being sent off the track. She is on her way to the penalty box. Once again, not happy. Shaking With ahead the call of From the refs. But that's the way it is. Refs call is final. That's a good derby name for her. It works in so many ways. It is. Yeah. Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't agree with the refs and doesn't agree with people getting bastard. That's it. Shadosaurus is out. It's not often that she gets smashed to the ground like that. Some great work from Paradise City. And and tough one for Sluggity in there. The score now stands at 106 to Paradise City, 79 to NBR. Captain is back on the track. Alice Affliction, she's up against Little G Unit, number 41. I feel like we know those names well. At this stage. Oh, uh, we're getting some love online from Sweet Fanny. Oh. Uh, and chips. We love you too, Sweet we Fanny. We love you. We miss you here in the commentary box. <laughs> you bring a light and a joy to this place, and it's uh, brilliant. <laughs> Especially when you get right up on your seat and almost fall off the edge of the rail. Because <laughs> you get With so excitement. excited. <laughs> Absolutely. Alice Affliction is just on fire this afternoon. Pushing her way through. Little G unit behind her. Trying to close the gap. Slowly doing it, though. Alice Affliction is keeping an eye because she's got control. 
And she looks like she's going to try and get some quick points before calling off the jam. And there it is called. Well we've, got, we've got some background info on our feed happening here. Frankencrunt uh, says that Panagy gave O'Hell her, her name because we fatty thought that she got her name from what the opposition say when they see her coming for them. <laughs> oh, hell no. I reckon that works too, sweet Fanny. <laughs> I think it works in so many ways and it's perfect name for her. Thanks for the updates. We will try and talk to the players um, throughout the tournament, so let us know if there's any favourites, maybe any questions that you'd like us to ask and we'll do our best to make that happen for you. A quick inside by Little G Unit before she was untimely brought down by uh, number 28 Goldie Scorn and that has allowed um, (laughs) Paradise City to get out in front Death Angel, sorry I lost my words for a moment yeah, I lost track of things too, but <laughs> Sweet Fanny apparently is keeping us on track. Thanks, online. Sweet Fanny. She's telling us to keep keep um, focus on the job at hand. Um, why? <laughs> we're, we're distracted, and that's what we do best, Sweet Fanny. So, uh, but yes, there is an absolutely amazing game of derby going on down here. Trauma Junkie lining up as Gemma for um, NBR up against Alice Affliction, eighty nine for Paradise City. NBR is certainly still in this. It is anybody's game, as we will see right now. I love it when things work on cue. Yeah, Brutal Deluxe doing a whole <laughs> lot of good work there, trying to hold up the jammer, and a beautiful bridging job there from um, NBR. Trauma Drunkie gets the lead jam. That's what she wants. She's coming up again. This will be her scoring pass. She's motioning to her teammates to move aside. Give her some room. Give her the inside light if possible. And there's the whistle. Oh. And Two points and one point respectively for um, Paradise City and NBR. Was it the other way around? No, the way you said it is correct. Oh, Paradise City snuck that one in there. All right, we have Little, Little G, G Union and Death Angel up against each other. Death Angel looking very serious here. She's very ready. Focused. She's got her eyes on the prize. And we've got a full pack, which is nice to see. Looks like Ohel knows on the inside. Oh, she's going to let it through. MBR is through. Little G Unit, lead jammer. Doing as what she, she does around best. the pack. Pack, track. Rack. Priming. Whack. Stacks. <laughs> I've done, right. done good at school, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and NBR's called it off quickly. That's what they wanted, a few quick points. Bring them back closer to Paradise City. And we've got Brandy Snaps lining up. I just want to break out into the Guns N' Roses song. It, that is a thing, right? People want to do that? Yeah. I yeah. don't see why not. All the time. Uh, we're just going to take a few minutes while we do that, guys. Um, <laughs> just entertain yourselves, eh? <laughs> Paradise City getting a bit of a formidable lead here, but still not untouchable. Alice 115 versus, one eight, uh, versus 86. Alice Affliction is moving her way through the front of the pack there. She's got a wall, NBR wall, and she is muscling through. And she has... Oh, one last hit has not been successful. And she is through for Lee Jammer. Brutal Deluxe that was putting in that last hit. Brutal Deluxe relentless with her chase there. Oh, and someone, uh, who have we got there? Number three. Number three, Fifi, Fifi Ferocious. ferocious. She doing a good down. job of polishing the floorboards. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Jam off. So, Trauma Junkie is up to jam for NBR. She's up against Death Angel. This could get interesting once again. Slug the end on the outside there for uh, NBR. We got one in the bin for Paradise City, giving NBR a slight advantage. But you really wouldn't know it because Death Angel is just going to keep the fight going. It has not been enough. NBR is through. And they're stepping over bodies there back in the pack there. Trauma Junkie just gliding around the track. She can spy Death Angel out the corner of her eye. She's going to try and get some quick points and probably call off the jam. 
Yes, she has. And there it is. Well picked. There you go. We do Alrighty. Two points and a zero point. Who we got up? Little G Unit said, give me the penny. I will do it for the team once again. She wants it. She's a trooper. Alice Affliction up for Paradise City. Um, Six and Bones is on the outside for NBR. Let's see if she can hold it. And we've got one apiece in the bin. She's one apiece not is not the derby name. Oh. I mean, there's one each. From <laughs> each team. <laughs> NBR is through. Lead a jammer. Little, little G, G unit. unit. She is a little G unit. Yeah, she is. And they are still holding Alice Affliction back. They've forced a cut on her. She's had to yield. Oh, oh, and oh. Alice she's Affliction's been given a cut, a cut track. And Iron Thighs is very happy about that, shaking her head. So yep, that's right. We did it. Jambi has been sent to the bin for MBR. So it is... Oh, there's no jammer on the track. There now will be. There is. We've got a jammer release so from the So little G unit was sent as well. Which means Alice Affliction is back. She's only got two players to contend oh, with. Oh, Iron Thigh's doing the work of, of two there. She hits them right in the middle. They oh, bounce together. Work. She goes around the outside. It's a formula. It works every time. Iron Thigh's quite proud of that move back there. A bit of a jammer sandwich there. A jammer sandwich. Yeah. I like that. We just need some peanut butter. A jam sandwich. Good. Peanut butter and jammer sandwich. Alice Affliction coming around. You know what I like about her? It looks like she goes out, but she doesn't. She's just on her toe stop. She just has that agility. Mm. It's fantastic to she watch. She really knows her way around that the That time she went Not out. Not that time. See, yeah. but you know, in general, you get what yeah. I'm saying. Come on, Alice. You're supposed to illustrate <laughs> what we're saying here. Back us up there, lady. We've got a strong wall. Little G units get knocked off the track and forced to yield. Alice Affliction is through again, but not without a fight by Iron Thighs, Shanosaurus Rex, and Sticks and Bones out there. Little G Unit has run into her own players, probably from sheer exhaustion. And now she has to contend with Christy Demons. Christy not Demons with some amazing defense easy work. Today. <laughs> player to contend with, and she has gotten through. A former teammate, I believe. We've got a full bench there for Paradise City, Gemma, and two blockers. Only one blocker from um, NBR in the bin. Certainly keeping our NSOs busy with all the paperwork. Yeah. Oh. Feel sorry for Bruzy Soho right there. <laughs> She's got... Uh, the pen is furiously. Oh, man. That thing's got to be burning up with the heat in here combined <laughs> with how much she's using that thing. Trauma Paradise Junkie City. is really lucky to have a power jam. She only has two blockers to contend with. Let's see what she can do for MBR. She's got three girls supporting her too, which should make life a lot easier. She does easier. some juking, fast feet, and she is there through. Is. The little no shoulder shuffle. No shuffling her, both shoulders. Killer. Coming around. She's coming in with some intensity. She really wants this. And a big goose step. Puts him off. That was beautiful, that wasn't was it? Straight oh. to the outside. Too quick for the she, ladies. She's got fluid shoulders and... and Looks Down like one there's only two. one blocker. One girl doing that? the work of four, though. Number, number 28. 28. Goldie Scorn. Goldie she Scorn. held her by herself. Wow. That was excellent work. That's off to you, Goldie Scorn. She's doing some amazing she's work. She's now going to the bin, though, <laughs> unfortunately. But she's replaced on the track by number eight, the pivot. We've Is got that Toe Cutter. Toe Cutter. You're right. No and match, though. We've got one more joining her. I can't see who that is from here. Number 92, I think. Yeah, Alice Affliction is back for Paradise City, and she is going to move through the pack. But she's been sent straight back to the bin, so the power, power jam still jam. stands for NBR. The game is anyone's now. Wow. This is exactly what we wanted to see. There's less than ten po eight points in it, as a matter of fact, and that can happen in a power jam. Boom! A big think. hit Sends there. back on one foot, but she <laughs> makes it out. On Trauma Junkie. Big. She's looking to the ref. She's saying, what's going on? Um, nothing's been called, and she is pushing through. It is endurance now. She is tied. The crowd is behind her. You got two on two with the blockers on track, but and we've got a power jam happening. So, yeah, some amazing things. What are the, what's NBR? Was, they're just letting her through, letting her jammer go, yep. and we've got one more oh, joining us on track. A last ditch effort there by Guns and Rosie, but unsuccessful. But we have a turnaround. 
128 yeah, points for yes. NBR, so, so they've taken the lead. out there in the crowd. Oh, this, is, this is tense. Big hit. And the jam is off. Full two the minutes crowd is happy. NBR is back in front. There is hands being clapped. There's lungs being belted. People are excited. There's excitement in this place. This is a great bout to watch. It's a great bout to commentate. I think we need to so rename close. this. It's not the leisure center. It's the action center. Oh, you are too good. There's no leisure the going on here. The action center. It's all blood, sweat, and tears. Blood, sweat, and smiles more like. Yeah, I have seen so many smiles this tournament. It's been really lovely, actually. No, we ladies out. look after each other. And men. Yeah. The men of Derby. Playing some Merby tomorrow, so if you guys want to come yeah. down and watch the men fight it out on the track, that will be a very exciting game to well, watch. If you're close enough to drive down, make sure you make the trip because it's so much more fun. You can hear the hits, you can smell the, the men's sweat, smell, smell the disappointment when their faces <laughs> hit the ground. It's a beautiful thing. No, well, no. Actually, Merby is not a beautiful thing. It no, is Merby is a an incredible. Women's roller derby. <laughs> there's grace. There's finesse. <laughs> there, there's style and there, and there's technique. Men's Merby. She is strength and brutality. Just, it, I'd it's, say it's like football on skates. And I love it. They don't even have toe stops. Some of them. Wow. It's just phenomenal. It gets hectic. There's big hits. <laughs> They look clumsy and as, as anything, some of the guys, but they're some of the biggest hits I've ever seen. Uh, so definitely worth checking out. If you can't get down here, um, okay. <laughs> there's someone to wear a leisure suit. <laughs> Thank you, Frank and Grunt. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I won't be doing that one for you, mate. This big man does not like sweating that much, <laughs> and it's hot down here. Little G Unit is up for a power jam. Power jam, but not for long because we have a jammer standing in the box ready to go. Alice Affliction is standing. She will get out of that box and she'll speed through the pack. Six and Bones just giving Lil G Unit a little bit of a heads up what they're going to do. Paradise has said, no, we're moving to the front. We're going to make you come to the pivot line. Lil G Unit says, all right, that's cool. I'm going to push through. I'm going to use the force. Yeah, MBR the is up. going to try and stop Alice Affliction at the back. But what's happening is there's now a no pack and they need to move forward. They're holding Alice Affliction back. She's found an inside, but Iron Thighs has pushed her right outside that track, which has given an excellent advantage to Little G Unit, although she is now out. Chrissy Demons has pushed her out to the outside. And, and she is at the back of the pack the again. Iron Thighs to the bin again. She thinks for a forearm. All is right. Not happy. I th thought I was doing some amazing work out here. Alice Affliction is through. She's not lead jammer. Uh, little G unit is. She's in control. She's currently coming back through the pack. And it looks like we're being we're copping some heat online what? for calling male roller derby Merby. Well, we're not allowed to call it Merby anymore. Oh, some people don't like it. Oh, I was not aware of this. Sorry, we weren't meaning to offend any listeners out there. Please tell us the correct wording so that we do not continue to offend our viewers. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Well, there's been some discussions about the term Merby. Uh, male roller derby is apparently the official and uh, Apologies, correct one. So male roller derby. Yeah, although... I. In, in, my, in our defence, I don't think something uh, co as simple as calling um, the sport Merby um, can be quite as offensive as some of the costumes and outfits that the men wear <laughs> in, in male roller derby. Uh, there's, some, uh, there's some questionable things going on. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Death Angel is through the pack. She has Lee Jammer status. And she's making her way through again and does it quite easily. And sends Slaggity Ann off into the bench for her troubles. Trauma Junkie is trying to jump through the pack. She's got a wall at the front there. Looks like, oh, hell no. And also Goldie Scorn holding her back there. But she is putting her head down and she is trying to bust through both. There's, oh, there has been a star pass. There's some anger. There's some confusion. 
Don't know what's happening. Now Star Boss is a kid. Now Little G. No, sorry, Sluggity like Ann. Ann. Oh, wow. There was a mega oh, collision. There's there. some holding of heads. There Sluggity were two Paradise City players. And that was that was a. I believe that was rock at a hard place. Oh, I see. There's some girls on the ground. It looks like there's an injury. Sluggity Ann looks like she's struggling. She's holding a hip. She was holding a head a minute ago. The girls have taken the knee. Out of a show of respect and also so we can make sure our players are okay. There is applause. applause. She is fine. Well, as fine as she could be. Well, she made it off the track. Trauma Junkie is going to have a little breather. Calm it down. There Things was are heating up around here. Intensity right there. Um, I can see out the back. At the moment, Sunset Roller Girls are warming up, so that would be the game to watch next. There is some heated discussion going on in our feed. What's it about? At the moment, about the terms for male roller derby. Oh goodness, um, we've started a war. Uh-oh. Dangle derby, I believe. Dangle <laughs> derby is way more offensive than Merby. Yeah, well. What are you other, talking about? There's some other, other things getting passed around too. I don't think Verby is a correct term for female roller derby. <laughs> it would be Furby, and that's just a bad toy and a fad that should never have happened. We just need to stop. <laughs> we need to stop that right now. And uh, Frank and Crunch suggested he no- he needs to see some more short shorts. And uh, I believe you'll see that if you come down here tomorrow, Frank and Crunch. I can't say I endorse it. I can't say that I enjoy it. But there will definitely there. be some short shorts. It's part of the sport. There With male, ro- male roller derby. Male roller derby. Comes short shorts. Or is shorts. it men's roller derby? Oh, man. I don't Come even on. know. Come on. Nitpicking. Nitpicking. Just, just be, f- be fearful of the tight li- lycra. <laughs> That's all you need to worry about. So we've got a timeout at the moment, which is why we're entertaining the different names for male roller derby. Men's roller derby. <laughs> Dangle Derby, Merby, I don't even Fur- know. Whippersnipper says um, Furby is just as wrong as Merby. <laughs> it's all kinds of wrong. Yeah, so we'll much. keep it clean around but here, That's what people. makes Derby fun, is that? <laughs> am, I, am I right? There's all kinds of wrong going on that's down right. here, but, um, but we make it right. <laughs> we make it right. Alice Affliction and Little G Unit going up. We've got a 3-2 pack. NBR has some players in the bin. Um, and Paradise City has one. So we're going to see what can happen. Little G Unit has gone for a block straight away to try and stop Alice Affliction, but she says, you know what, I'm going to keep pushing and get through anyway. Little G Unit is now at the back of the pack. Alice Affliction is at the front. She's trying to push them out to get a no pack, which will allow her a free pass. And she's through. Lead Jammer. We've got Toe Jammer 69 watching all the way from Boston. Hello. Big shout out to Toe Jammer 69 Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out her feed and thanks for um, contributing to the conversation Not going to online. be confused with Toe Cutter, who is out there playing tonight. Yeah, there you go. They should meet. They should. Yeah, I like bringing people together. We should ship Toe Cutter up to Boston. Or maybe Toe Jammer wants to come out and uh, check out the sites of Queensland. Perhaps. But Perhaps. I, I was just trying to make a, a, um, a Dropkick Murphy's um, Oh, there, damn it, missed I that missed one. it. I was slow. <laughs> All right. We've got Death, An- Death Angel jamming for Paradise City. And we've got some G-Unit fans out there too. She, she's up against Brandy Snaps for NBR. And we've got a diminished pack. Janosaurus is holding. Death Angel back there, but she has been sent to the bin. She MBR have brief. Lee Gemma, and the crowd is very happy about that. Brandy Absolutely. Snaps bringing it for the team. Paradise City, Death Angel Gemma is being followed by a stripy seagull, which means she cannot call off the jam. Death We've got Angel a lot more blockers joining us. All the blockers are joining the track. We've got Looks two, like sorry, two more sitting in the bin, but that's about it. One more joining them in the bin. Looks like we need to pack it up a bit, ladies. It's a game of mus- it musical is chairs down full there. on. So let's get some This is a fast This pack. is incredibly fast. Uh, a lot of crazy stuff happens when it's fast. Yes. It's probably in everyone's best interest to slow it down, apart from the crowd. They like it fast because they like it hard. Oh, yeah. And they like and those the ladies hitting the floor in front of the seat. Spills and drills. Yeah, that's it. Spills and The faster thrills. they go, the further they slide. Um, Toe Cutter is who we were saying. Toe Jammer. She is out there playing for Paradise City, number eight. 
We have 89, Alice Affliction. She's up against Jambi. Jambi has got some jamming footwork. And she was taken to the inside by Goldie Scorn. But she has recovered and she is out in front for Lee Jammer. Lee Jammer. Jambi, well done. Number 32 rolling for NBR. Uh, Alice Affliction is caught at the back. She's using her footwork. She's decided she's going to do some blocking. It's not been effective, and Jambi is through again. Christy Deem is joining us on track, giving um, Alice some help. Number 28 looks 20. like she's taking a big ball. Gold, Goldie Scorn. And she's going to the bench. She looks like she's in pain. Yeah, I thought, she, I thought she was sending herself to the bench for that one. She Janosaurus like and Christy oh. Demons were playing a little bit of uh, bumpy tag. <laughs> uh, Chrissy Demons has hit Jambi out, and Jambi is calling the jam off. She is wanting to play smart. She's had enough. Paradise City are back in the lead, but only by six points. So it is still anyone's game. I don't think anyone's playing today. It's uh, NBA and Paradise City. So it's either one of those games. That's right. All right, we got Little G in it. We got a timeout. Looks like an official review is happening. Paradise City have something to say to the refs. Uh, no, it looks like the refs have something to say to Paradise City and NBR. So we've got the captain and the alternate out there. Alice Affliction and Death Angel for Paradise City. And Beth Adder and Annabelle... Oh, sorry. Beth Adder and who else is out there for NBR? Oh, Raspberry Bullet, of course. Bench manager. Alternate. Well, we've got some NBR fans out there. Skull and Destroy and Rump of Steel Skin. Big shout out to those guys for uh, tuning in on the DNN feed. Um, stay tuned in, guys. We've got 9 minutes and 48 seconds left, and this is going to get intense. It is going to get full on. It's going to be edge of your seat, nail biting action here at Moray Field. Action centre. Action centre. None of this. It lead works. Here. We're making it happen. It's the action centre. It's the hub of action. <laughs> and everyone needs some more A's in their field. Everyone does. Someone is predicting hey. that this is Paradise City's game. Oh, Professor. Says, I profess that they will win. So, how do you pronounce that? It's profet through three. Oh, professor. I think the three three is an SS. Could be, or it could be a B for Profeba. <laughs> All right. PCR Greenheads wants a shout out. Here's your shout out. Yo, it's done. Done. Excellent. Oh, uh, we got the. Uh, can you see BCR? Can you see BCR out the back there? They are warming up, ready for the game. Got some sweet dance moves for their warm up. They're just moving the muscles around. They got a big game against SSRG. It is going to be massive. Both and teams have excellent fan bases here tonight. Oh, it's going to get intense. Up. Ooh, if this is intense. Wait for later. This I'm going to be trackside. I tell you. Number Concha looking very serious and discussing with all the girls there. And let's see what happens now. Little G-Unit's is keen. She's ready and pumped to go. All the NBR girls on track already. All right, we are back. We are playing the game. We've got Christy Demons out there um, blocking for Paradise City. And Death she Angel is with Death jamming. Angel. Death, sorry, Death Angel is jamming. We've got Rattlin' Bones is blocking. Little G-Unit, Death Angel. It is anybody's jam. Moving and to the pivot line, forward. give him a bit of a run up. Getting some speed and space. NBR in says no, we're going to hold you back. And looking for the gap, and yes, has found it. Up the inside, we've got little G unit. Little I know she's G got some fans unit. out there. She has absolutely. Jeff Angel struggling to find a gap on the in or the air. She's trying outside. Has been taken out there with a big hit. Forced to yield, coming back in. NBR is forming their wall again, keeping up with Paradise City. A one last ditch um, hit by, it looks like Guns N' Rosie, and she's been sent to the bin for an out of play block. Rumpel still, uh, sorry. 
Not Rob of Steelskin. Uh, Frank and Grunt says, take me down to the Paradise City. Where the grass is green and the, and girls, the girls are, are hitty. Oh. I believe. I like That's it. That's what's happening You've here. You've been working on that, hey? No, I just pulled that one out Did there. Did you? Yeah, there's plenty you're stored good. up there. That's why you're there. <laughs> 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 All right. And the jam has been called off. Excellent play. Yeah, A point for Paradise City. Oh. Few points. It is oh, even. Neck and neck. The score 151 is even. Apiece. And the crowd goes wild. This is getting tense. Do not leave your television or computer screen. This is it. Just over eight minutes wow. to go. It is happening. This is tight. The crowd's going wild. <laughs> They're slapping we the floor and stomping their Alice feet. Affliction. Flag of the end. Who's Flag of the end is 40. She's good. pushed through. She's, she's got all around, around her. around Christy wow. Demons. And she's copped an injury. She looks like she's limping there. Is she? Through. Yep. Oh. She's favoring her inside leg there. Oh, that was a beautiful jump by the ref there. He was on his toes. Jumped over Janosaurus Rex's legs. And it's been called off. By Paradise City. Seems no to be points a bit of on the board. Did the NBR get, get any? The oh, I can see some Looks wincing like going down still there. Sands at one fifty-one apiece. I can feel the tension. There's a bit of a uh, bit it's, of contention. It is happening. Raspberry Bullet's not happy. Beth Adder doesn't look happy either. Oh, calling, NBR's calling for a late official review, it looks like. And that means that Paradise City needs to go in and listen to what the issue is. And it will be put to the refs. The refs will make a final decision. Very rarely does it get overturned, an official review, but when it does, ah. Oh, it's turmoil. You just feel a sense of pride. <laughs> We get so excited if we can overturn it because very oh, rarely yeah. are the refs wrong, you know? Yeah, these refs do an amazing job and they've got so many sets of eyes out there. Ooh, it's getting heavy because Spotter, uh, sorry, Harry Spotter has uh, run out to the middle of the track to uh, listen in, weigh, weigh in his two cents worth. To mediate. Mediate. That's a good word. It's a good word, isn't it? Yep. Although it's not really a conflict. But, no. you know. He can mediate. Now the refs are going off on their own to discuss. We've got hand movements. I love hand movements. Yep. It really helps to... Um, Look at all those hands behind the back, the clutching of the hands. That makes it serious. <laughs> They're like, mm-hmm. So attentive. Oh, there's nodding of heads. There's I love it. Look look, at, look on the track. Paradise mm-hmm. City, NBR, just having a chat. Because they're all teammates, Christy Demons and Oh Hell No Fomley of MBR, um, just chatting to their old mates. Having a good laugh, having we a dance. It, we keep the love alive in Derby. You might yeah. change teams, but it doesn't mean that you lose friends. And the jam timer there, flexing his muscles, chucking a, an M in the middle there for the official timeout. And I reckon if we paid him enough, do you reckon he'd do the rest of the YMCA for us? Do you reckon? I don't know. No. I'll do the Y. You can do the C. We just need an A. I don't know. You try. No, he looks pretty He serious. looks way too official. Yeah, he's getting consulted there by the geek. Geek seems to have lost his fez, though. That's gone. I oh, don't know what's going on there. This is getting too serious. So Jambi is standing up to the um, jam line. She actually had an excellent jam a little while ago. And she's coming up against Death Angel. So now we are going to see some hard hits. Like I said, don't go away. These last seven minutes are going to be seven minutes seven in minutes hell on skates. It's 151 <laughs> apiece and both teams are absolutely fighting they for, want it. for every inch. The blockers are holding back. They have got Death Angel, but she has been sent. She's been given lead jam, I thought. She cut track, but no, that's not true. She's got lead jam as status. Oh, and they are holding Jambi back. Christy Demons and uh, Rosie. Guns and Rosie holding her back there. Although Jambi has done a massive block and taken out Christy Demons, but she has been given a back block, which we thought it was. And she's heading to the bin just behind Janosaurus Rex, who's been sent to the bin also. That's going to give us a very full bin. Janosaurus Rex, has her number's been taken. She's been told to move on by Tilt McKilt. 
some beautiful penalty box managing there from So Long Longlash Massacre is out there by herself, but she is making it very hard for Death Angel to get around. Yeah, She's all over the track. Genosaurus Rex is back, so there's two MBR players. What are they going to do? Fifi they're forming a wall. They're booted blocking. They're not fast enough, and she's got out. Paradise City needs to keep reforming because they are um, allowing the pack to move forward too quick without going with them. Christy Demons was clarifying something, but it has become apparent that she needs to go to the bin because... Um, for an earlier penalty, and oh hell no, is returning to the track. So we've got three Paradise City blockers, two NBR players, and, and one Genosaurus Gemma. is turning around. She's trying to push to the outside. It's not quite successful. We have a Gemma standing in the box. Death too. Angel is calling it off. So we'll she start on that. We, so we will start on a power jam. She even pointed. Start on a power jam for Paradise City. It's just a little bit of an edge, but sometimes that's all you need. Yep. And then Jambi will be released for MBR and hit the track again. Yeah, and Paradise City making a nice wall there to try and cover as much of the track as they can and then obviously clear that track and create a hole for uh, their Jammer to push through. We've got Alice Affliction lining up to Jam for starting off on a power jam. Uh, but we've got a jammer standing in the box, so it's not going to stay that way for too long. Uh-oh, we've got another timeout. Man, we just wanted to keep going. The tension is there, the though, tension isn't it? Is Four melting. minutes and 46 seconds Woo. left on the clock, and holy moly. It's absolutely incredible. We have a bit of a lead happening here from Paradise City. 176 um, beats 151 at this point in time, but still... It's definitely within reach for um, NBR. So the winner of this will go into to tomorrow's game against the winner of tonight's game. tonight's game. Yeah. So that will be the big one. The so one as not if to be tonight's missed. not going to be interesting enough. Uh, tomorrow's going to get crazy. Action Pack Central. Some Paradise City fans out there. <laughs> Franken reckons that Paradise City's got the win. Rex are checking the scores. All right. <laughs> the game is on. We've got a bit of a scattered pack. NBR's up the front. Wow, look at the staggering going on there. That's good. Janosaurus is out there with Iron Thighs. They are the making it hard on. for Alice Affliction, but she just jumps on through. Jambi's back. And she's been called oh, a cut straight track away. again. Oh, this you is can see not the good news for NBR. They really need their jammers out on the track because that's the only way that they can score points. And look, this is what makes a difference in most derby games. You, you look at the pr action on the track, and I watched a bunch of the games last night as well. Yeah. The action on the track doesn't show that there's too much difference in the skill levels yeah. and the ability and the pack work and the strategy in the two teams. But what gets the points on the board is all those track cuts and the power jams. Sure. And Alice Affliction just moving through. Janosaurus and Iron Thighs is oh. Iron Thighs went <laughs> for a massive sweep. Blocked to the inside swing and, and miss. was unsuccessful. It was a swing and a miss. And Looks Alice like she's going to do it again. Casual as anything. And she's been inside. successful. She oh, has gone to the cut. bin. See you later. So, Alice Affliction's in the bin for a cut track, which is good news because now Jambi for NBR has been released. This is her chance. She has four blockers. Christy Demons. Oh, hell no. Um, she then has... Where is number 15? Look at Sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla. A beautiful, um, beautiful display of bridging there, too, from... Paradise City Girls, even though we got a power jam, Jambi has to work to get all the way back behind them before she uh, gets on the yeah. track, so We've it's not all joy for her, but she makes us through. And she is through. Oh, hell no. Chrissy Demon's working very hard at that end just to hold her back. Some great team walling there. And Janosaurus Rex knee sliding into the penalty box. With They've a lot gone of in for the hit. Jambi has stood up to it. Oh, no, hell no has taken her. And the jam has been called... Well, it hasn't been called off. It timed out. Timed out, but uh, number 89, uh, Alice Affliction, was working hard to make a pass before 
that timed out, but she, she didn't quite make it. So no points on that. Death Angel, Little G Unit up against each other. We've got a three on four pack, so Paradise City has the advantage. And uh, oh, hell no, joining the crew. Little G Unit pushing Alice Affl- uh, sorry, not Alice Affliction, um, Death Angel. Uh, was trying to push out in front, but Little G Unit has just hopped around and she has got lead Chama. Oh. The pack is trying to reform. We've got some Mayhem Paradise City trying to make their way to the front of the pack. Just to make it that much harder for NBR. Boom! A big, Massive. big hit from Little G. Oh, and another one right on the apex on the Gemma. And we have the captain down. Girls are taking a knee. She this is NBR captain. Move. Yeah. Beth Adder is laying down. She looks pretty hurt. Looks like she's holding her right knee. I don't know if that's a previous injury. We have the uh, St. John's medical attendee coming to see her. Thank you so much. We love having medical personnel on board. It's, yeah, it's uh, good to have qualified people there to help us out <laughs> when we need it. Absolutely. And they do... A tireless job. They are there all day. Not hoping. And those we uniforms they wear don't look too cool either. They're the long <laughs> sleeves. They're going to be hot. She's and she's up. on her feet. And the crowd is going wild. She look doesn't want to give up. She will lick her wounds tomorrow. Tonight, they play till the end. She's not happy though. She's just questioning the ref. The ref saying, well, you need to make an official review if you've got an issue. Yeah, Beth Adder still questioning that one. Not sure about it. Okay, so we've got Alice Affliction up. Lucha Unit going for a jam now. Beth Adder still on the track after that. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Team time out to NBR. Oh, can this... This is hurting me. <laughs> <laughs> this is really... It's hurting me. A minute me. and 34 to go. And it's hurting our viewers at home. They're like, can we just do this? There's some uh, discussion going down over what's happened here on the newsfeed as well. Uh, Cleo Mactra is saying she should sit out for two jams. Oh, I see, because she went down and everyone went on a knee. Um, yeah, usually it's three jams you have to um, sit out. Oh, sorry, no, yeah, you're right. It's two jams, three jams if it's anything to do with the head. Um, but it's a bit of a hard one because she didn't really get any medical attention. She sort of didn't take it, got up. Um, yes, a contentious issue. I'm not really yeah. sure. But um, They've let her go on. So. As we said, the, the refs out here are making the best decisions that they can at that point in time and they're doing a wonderful job tonight keeping everyone safe and that's the main thing okay we've the got the unit lining up versus Alice Affliction I Alice believe. Affliction and yeah. Paradise City holding NBR back oh, and Iron with a massive hit taken to the inside then the outside Iron Thighs making life diff- difficult for Alice is. Affliction some Beautiful Alice teamwork is there just for trying NBR. Trying to push through sheer force, the wall of NBR is commendable. Iron thighs is just all up in her face. Oh, oh a big smash. hit! Long lash massacre has taken out Alice Affliction. Oh, what another and one! And again, just bends her over at the hips. That <laughs> looked like it hurt. Yeah, it did. Knocked the wind out of her. She has gotten through though. Oh, Little and G like unit has been a sent to the jam. bin. Power jam. This is not what we want. This is not what NBR wants at this point in time. Alice Affliction with the lead jam. We don't. And we Little want it to be closer. We want to close the close the game. This game has been <laughs> amazingly close the whole way through. It's been phenomenal. And NBR not giving up for one second and <laughs> cheering Alice Affliction on is Paradise City. All the girls on their feet, showing support for their team members. Six and Bows, Genosaurus Rex are out in front. They're going to try and hold her back. Genosaurus, a big hit. Sticks and Bones has just made her, uh, sorry, taken her to the inside, and she has had to yield behind. She's now coming up through. She finds oh, a gap, through. pushes through. Genosaurus tries to go out, but she's too far out in front. It would be a no pack. 
She really injected herself through that pass. She did, didn't she? And calls it off. Hands on the hips. And that looks like the unofficial final here at Paradise City is going Action wild. Center. The crowd are on their feet. Paradise City, this is their first year at Tropic Carnage. They only formed six months ago, and they are bringing it. They are showing why they deserve to be here. So we're just going to get the final score, obviously. But There's at the moment, we've got 156 oh to NBR to 204 Paradise City. And as the crowd gets to their feet and moves out to the edge of the track to show some love for the two halves of entertainment that we just... Well, I want to say I, suffered through that. I don't know. That was crazy. It was for long. But it looks like Paradise City is going to be going through to the grand final. 156 chases 204. First Paradise time City. in it. Straight to the grand final. NBR will be disappointed with that. There's some pleased fans on the news feed too. I know you're all happy. And... NBR fans should be completely happy with Absolutely. that too. Absolutely. NBR that was, fought it hard. Oh, and man. They, what a performance. Oh, we've got a... Um, they're kneeling down in a show of respect as Paradise City make their victory lap around. You can see the fans. They are excited as, our, as Video Bob runs down and does our live cam. Wobble cam. <laughs> and you'll see Ratlin Bones, Death Angel, Christy Demons, Sarsparilla, Goldie Scorn, Corel De Kill, oh hell no, <laughs> Tony Soprano, Toe Cutter, Pixie Block Stockings, Alice Affliction, Guns N' Rosie, and Esther La Vista are lining up well, for the victorious team of Paradise City. Done. NBR is now going to make their way around. Shall I read it out? Go for it. We've got uh, Dicey Riley, SX, Sticks and Bones, Beth Adder, Iron Thighs. Rockatilly, Fifi Ferocious, Jambi, Long Lash Massacre, Cherie Todd, Naughty Cordy, Little G Unit, Trauma Junkie, Brandy Snaps, Janosaurus Rex, Brutal Deluxe, Slaggity Ann, and Crystal Mess. Not all of them play tonight, and but all of them have been a massive part of the NBR team. That is the full lineup for those girls, and I can see the crowd going wild. I see Legs 11 Agent Provocateur from the Ghost of Assassins was jumping <laughs> down there. She Stoked. liked that. I think she liked that. So we have, uh, it is now the final. It is not unofficial. It is official. Paradise City will be going to the grand final with 204 points. And NBR will play tomorrow in a um, about for third and fourth place, I believe, against the loser of tonight's game of SSRG and Brisbane City Rollers. There's no losers in this game, mate. Paradise City may have won this one, but NBR are winners in my mind. Fire out those girls. Fought to the end, tooth and nail. Um, rink rash and face on the ground. Like, wow. Wow. There was so many big hits. There's going to be so many bruises tomorrow. There's, there's hugs out there. But that's it. We're all winners here because there's hugs all around. And everyone's safe. We don't have any major injuries out of this one. So that, that's a win in my that, mind for absolutely. everybody. Absolutely. Everyone wins. We don't like injuries. Yeah, exactly. Stick around, folks. We will have the final coming up later on. Uh, this is going to get hectic. If this wasn't hectic uh. enough for you already, um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting nervous thinking about it. Are you nervous? Go- I'm am. nervous. I'm nervous. I'm not playing, but I'm nervous. My girls are playing. I oh, am nervous. Oh, there you go. So, um, thanks very much, and we will see you next time. Stick around for the game. Tune and in at 7 o'clock for the final tonight. Sunset Roller Girls and Brisbane City Rollers play each other for a spot in the grand final. There is, uh, just to end, that is the penalties. <laughs> All right, thanks for listening. I'm Dol Bludgeon. Oh, I'm Chips and Gravy. You've been great. I've been great too. Thanks. No, you were. You were. Oh, stop See it. Ya. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> get something to eat, get something to drink, maybe make a toilet break, but be back here later on. SSRG, BCR. Oh, my goodness. You. See you, bye. Bye.